Hey there, gamers. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to tackle a common issue that many of you might be facing while playing Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut on your PC. That issue is the failed to initialize PlayStation PC SDK error. So what does this error mean? It usually indicates that there's a problem with your PC setup. This could be due to your computer not being fully compatible with the game or some important software being missing or outdated. Now, let's dive into the solutions. We'll be covering two main methods to fix this issue, running the PSPC SDK runtime installer and unlinking your Steam and PSN accounts. Method one, run the PSPC SDK runtime. Installer. First, locate the PSPC SDK installer in the folder where Ghost of Tsushima is installed. This is usually under Program Files or Program Files VEX86. Look for a file named PSPC says decruntime installer.messi. Double click on it and follow any on screen prompts to complete the installation. Once the installation is complete, navigate to the path. C. Program Data Sony Interactive Entertainment. Inc. PSPC SDK S22 2.13.00.01. And find the file PSPC says dkpmrg.exe. Run this file and then launch Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. Check if the problem persists. Method 2. Unlink your Steam and PSN accounts. If the above method doesn't work, let's try unlinking your Steam and PSN accounts. Access the game settings or your Steam settings and look for an option to unlink your Steam and PSN accounts. Make sure the unlinking process is successful. After unlinking, restart the game and sign in manually from the game's main menu using your PSN credentials. If successful, the error should no longer appear. That's it, folks. These two methods should help you resolve the failed to initialize PlayStation PC SDK error in Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. If you have any further questions or need more assistance, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.